presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to quickly pull up scripture in the ProPresenter Bible app without typing out the whole name of the book. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. On one of my other tutorials on the Bible app, Jerome Malabi asked, what's the quickest way to call up scripture during a church service instead of typing out the full name of the book? Isn't there a way to bring up suggestions as you type? Well, I found out a way to do it, so let's head over to ProPresenter and take a look. Let's say you're in church and the pastor calls for a piece of scripture that you didn't know about. So how do you get it up on the screen quickly? Well, the first thing you do is you go to the Bible app, which you can get to from View Bibles or this little character right there, that is control, so it would be control B. Let's do that. That's also on my ProPresenter 6 keyboard skin, so you could find that. And that is a toggle, so you can get right back off as well. So, let's say you need Genesis 2. Type in G E space 2, and look, you're in Genesis 2. Let's say you want Psalm 123, P.S. 123. It's just that simple if the book that you're looking for doesn't share the first two letters with other books. If it does, then you've got a problem. Here's how to solve it. So, you might think John 3.16, you would take, type J-O-3 not E, 3, but you'll notice that's Joshua 3. Why is that? Joshua begins J-O, and it goes in book order. Got one of these? Then you can get access for you and your team to all my courses and books, whether it's just a couple of people or multiple campuses. Just choose the multi-site plan if that's you. Oh, and I take purchase orders too. So if you'd like to automate your training and take your church's tech ministry to the next level, Go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and get started today. Now back to the tutorial. So Jonah also, if you were looking for Jonah and you type J-O-3, no dice there. So here's how you solve that problem. You type the first three letters of the book. So instead of J-O, type J-O-H for John 3, and there you go. You're in John 3, 16. Jonah, J-O-N 2, takes you to Jonah 2. And Joshua, you could do just J-O or J-O-S, will take you to Joshua, let's say, 5. There you go. So, if it's a unique book, let's say, Exodus, that's E-X-6, that'll take you to Exodus 6. If it's a longer book, um, maybe you just want to type in S-O-N-7 for Song of Solomon 7, or P-R-O-3-0 for Proverbs 30. That's the way you do it. You find the verse you need. You click on it. You're good to go if this is in a quick situation. But don't forget, if you're just saving a little time during preparation, you might want to save as a document. That'll put it in the library. Save copy to current document. That'll put it in whatever song or sermon note file is currently selected or saved to a selected playlist that will put it in the playlist over here. So that's just a little bit about some quick ways to interact with the Bible in ProPresenter. 
ProPresenter never ceases to amaze me. There are so many things you can do with this software that you just have to stumble upon and figure out for yourself. Because otherwise, the manual would be like 6,000 pages long and nobody would ever read it. This is just another piece of proof that the reason ProPresenter works so well is because Brad Weston, who wrote it, wrote it to fill the needs of his, himself as a lyric operator. So it perfectly fits our needs. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and help have me help train the people at your church or organization, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and join for the first month for just a dollar. And for the first month for free for the yearly and multi-site plans. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.